Welcome to the Brew AI Podcast. I am your host, Brew. As always, I am joined by Uncle Brownie and Chip Shutter. Well, howdy, folks. Uncle Brownie here, ready to spin some wisdom for you all. Back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy AI dudes, but I'm here to keep it real and maybe add a little old school charm to the conversation. Hey everyone, Chip Shutter here. I'll be keeping these two on their toes and calling out any nonsense. If it's modern, mirrorless, and photography related, I'm on it. Thanks, guys. Now that everyone's here, let's get ready to dive into today's topic. Welcome to Learn Your Camera. Today we're diving into a classic photography mantra F8 and be there. So, what does F8 and be there mean and why is it important for photographers? Sounds like a secret code for the photography elite. Is it like a camera club handshake or something? No, no, young feller. Back in my day, we didn't need secret codes, just a good eye and steady hands. And don't get me started on how we didn't any fancy gadgets to fix everything for us. Well, Brownie, you're kind of onto something. The phrase F8 and be there is famously associated with the iconic street photographer Arthur Felig, better known as Ouija. His work was all about raw, compelling shots of New York City's nightlife and street scenes. He knew how to be in the thick of the action. Camera ready? Ah, so it's not just about the gear, but actually being where the magic happens, huh? But what's the deal with F8 specifically? Great question, Chip. The F8, part of the mantra suggests using an aperture setting of F8. This aperture strikes a balance between depth of field and sharpness. It keeps a good amount of the scene in focus without overly complicating things. Yeah, and that's why it's golden, see? F at eight, you're not fumbling around like a rookie. Back in my day, we set F8 and kept our eyes peeled for the action. If you weren't ready well, tough luck. Ouija wasn't just snapping pretty pictures. He was capturing moments you couldn't plan for. So it's basically a street photographer's cheat code, right? Set F at eight, and then just be there, ready to catch whatever wild scene unfolds. Exactly. The be there part is crucial. It emphasizes the importance of timing and presence. Sure, technical settings matter, but the real magic of photography comes from being in the right place at the right time. Hey, ain't that the truth? Ouija didn't rely on luck. He knew how to read the streets, and he wasn't messing around with ISO charts or depth of field calculators. Nope, he was out there, nose to the ground, ready for action. Makes me nostalgic just thinking about it. Okay, but in today's world, we have all these fancy mirrorless cameras and auto focus tech. Does this advice still hold up? Oh, for sure, Chip. Even with modern gear, there's a lot to be said for simplifying your settings so you can focus on what matters, the story unfolding in front of your lens. By setting your aperture to f8, you can be confident that your shots will be shot while keeping your attention on capturing the moment. And that's what separates the pros from the amateurs, son. It's about being ready for the moment, not staring at your camera screen. Ouija knew that you gotta be ready when the action hits, not not worrying about bokeh or whether your settings are perfect. Okay, I admit it. There's something timeless about that approach. Sometimes it's more about the experience and being present rather than geeking out over tech. Exactly, Chip. So to sum it up for today's photographers, F8 and be there is a timeless philosophy. It's about being prepared and aware, ready to capture whatever comes your way. With your aperture set and your instincts sharp, you'll be primed for pelling authentic shots. Well said. Now, 
If only we could convince more young'uns to try a roll of film and really feel the soul of photography. Film. Oh, here we go again, Uncle Brownie. Back to walking uphill, both ways, just to get a blurry photo developed, huh? You mock it now, but what one day you'll understand, son, one day. Well, that's all for today's episode of Learn Your Camera. Remember, keep it simple, be present, and most importantly, have fun out there. Until next time, keep your settings sharp and your shots even sharper.